Just give me a minute. I'm moving to Venice and Edmonds. <laughs> None of that was in my plan. In actual fact, why don't you ever listen to my advice? You ain't nothing but a
creatures that live in the jungle.
in the final step this evening, Emilio will attempt an incredible triple somersault back to the Tita Board. Please give them a huge round of applause. RCC Arriba!
Very closely as Moitio will now attempt to walk around the outside of the wheel whilst completely blindfolded. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause. Jewel, bless him! Right, 
<laughs> and finally, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your local weather report with none other than Mr. Johnny Mack. Thank you, Jack J. Well, I'll tell you what, the weather is not looking good inside the Hippodrome this evening. Oh, no? No, there's going to be large downpours and showers over this side in about five minutes' time. Oh, oh no. But don't worry, don't panic. It's going to be much worse over that side. <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, has been your Hippodrome Headlines. We bid you good night. Thank mm -hmm. you.
all respect to Lord Mayor, is an amazing thing. We brought it back in 1981 and we've used it extensively every year since. It's the most amazing combination of things to work with for us. It's quite a difficult thing to do, but it's one of the most satisfying parts. Of it. And it's something you can't see anywhere else in Europe. You have to go to Vegas to get to the And it's all 1903, so as the water drops, we're seeing something that's 110 years old. It's still way out of all these today. We don't know any of the history of it, and uh, it, it still works. It gives me a thrill every time I see it.
results so far this evening, we've already seen some incredible service action. But now it's time to take things to the next level as we attempt to make history right here in Great Yarmouth and send the very first person from the Hippodrome Circus into outer space. So boys, bring in the vision control. Moving in especially from Cape Canaveral, the United States of America. This is the first NASA approved cannon on UK soil. Look at this magnificent piece of machinery. But who, I need to ask, will be going inside our cannon? Well, there's only one man fit for the task. After all, who could possibly be stupid? I mean, brave enough to take on this mission. Why? It's none other than astronaut Johnny! Just so 
Until we see you all again!